Those of us who don't play perhaps can't appreciate what is to us a ritual of pad tapping and gathering about the goalie for last words of encouragement. But before the puck is dropped and steel blades flash, there are other words. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to please rise and join in the singing of the National Anthems of Canada and the United States of America. Anthems of the franchise countries are played. When you consider that you may have players side by side from Sweden, the United States, Canada, and one born in Venezuela, it's presumptuous to make a case for anthems covering all players' countries. But our interest is on how this time is spent, a time of restraint, and as you can see, one of nervousness, of anticipation. For approximately two minutes, or maybe as many as four, emotion and aggressiveness are momentarily harnessed. It's a rare time when each is alone to his own thoughts. The concentration may be intense and straight ahead, or minds may wonder. Though attention may drift, one can tell that, with some, this is a very important period of time. Whether a player is pondering a first game in a new arena, or if he's been there many times. Above all, we should remember that the game we all enjoy is one of intensity and pressure. And having not lived through this type of existence, maybe we cannot truly appreciate the schedule which for the most successful teams will surpass 100 games. But by studying these faces, perhaps we can have a greater appreciation of the more than physical energy that they must devote to put on the show for us night after night. The show for all of us who sing during this time and then sit only to stand frequently to cheer, agonize, encourage, and cheer again. The anthem, peace before performance.